we all have fears. Fear of the unknown, fear of not being good enough, fear of judgment. When I was a little girl, I loved to talk. My dad even nicknamed me Chatterbox because I would not shut up. And then in high school, I started competing in these speech competitions. So I had competed in this one competition. I had won and won, and then it was the finals. And there was a $5,000 scholarship on the line. I stand up, there's this room full of people, and I start speaking powerfully. And then my brain froze. I don't know what happened, but I could not remember the next line to save my life. I looked all the way around the room frantically, hoping that it would come from somewhere. But after about 10 seconds, my eyes dropped to the floor. I just couldn't remember. Needless to say, I lost that speech competition. And because of that one event, I didn't speak publicly again for another 20 years. Fear is a crazy thing. It binds us. It imprisons us. It deprives us of living the life we are truly meant to live. But after about 20 years of being locked up in that prison of fear, I decided that I needed to break free. I went and I joined my local Toastmasters group, which is a public speaking group, so that I could face that fear of speaking head on. And I'm pretty sure it was my second speech, but I stood up there and I started shaking so violently that I had to hold on to the podium so as to not fall over. That's how big my fear was. But I stood there and I shook and I looked like a fool because I knew that nothing was worse than going back into that prison of fear. Now, I'm an inspirational speaker, inspiring you to walk through your fears. What is that fear that is holding you back? It is time to break free. It is time to take the key, unlock the door, step back up onto that stage and face your fear eye to eye.